Starting September 1st, police officers in Texas will be allowed to ask any person they arrest or detain about their immigration status. The undocumented are in fear. There have been protests, especially among the Hispanic population, which accounts for nearly half of all Texans. But they are not alone. This topic is it's painful for me because, because I'm an immigrant. My parents are immigrants. I represent a district filled with immigrants. One out of every seven Asian Americans in the U.S. is undocumented. Wu, a state representative, says 90,000 are living in Texas illegally. Wu, who's Chinese American, has been speaking out against a policy. Essentially, this bill says it's now open season on immigrants. Anyone who looks like an immigrant, because the average criminal, they can't tell who's undocumented, who's not. But all they know is you look Hispanic, you look Asian. So you must be an easy target because you're not going to go to the cops. The Texas law hits local governments with criminal and civil penalties if they don't enforce immigration laws. Even police chiefs can be jailed. Arguably the most famous... Chinese-American community leaders worry about the law's impact. It's going to affect us personally because all of us look different. No matter how many generations we've been here, we'll always be considered foreigners, okay? So we could be stopped just because they're looking and racially profiling, if you will. Opponents say the law will endanger community police efforts, and they hope federal courts will intervene. I am hoping that the court system will look at this legislation and see the kind of inequality it is exacting and carrying out and will block it from um, taking force. Those who oppose the law will keep fighting. Supporters, meanwhile, are demanding a better policing of the nation's borders and enforcement of existing laws. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Houston.